It is not the color of the skin that makes the man or the woman, but the principle formed in the soul. Brilliant wit will shine, come from whence it will, and genius and talent will not hide in the brightness of its luster. I am Maria Miller, and I was born in 1803 in Hartford, Connecticut. I was orphaned at the age of five and forced into indentured servitude. I went to religious school but educated myself through the clergyman's library because I had no access to formal schooling. I married a man named James W. Stort and took his last name and middle initial. He sadly passed away in 1829 and the white executors and the legal system made sure to leave me with nothing from his will. My biggest inspiration was a man by the name David Walker, a black activist. After Walker's death, I took it upon myself to carry on his work. I went through religious conversion and became convinced that I was being called to be the warrior for God and for freedom, and also for the cause of oppressed Africa. I am best known for being a controversial public speaker as I was a woman speaking about black rights. I spoke to gender diverse audiences and used my voice to bring attention to what many minorities face. My best known speech was at Franklin Hall where I questioned whether free black people were more free than enslaved black people given the lack of opportunity and equality they had. I talked about the need for equal education for black people and used my devotion to my religion to inspire the way I phrased my speeches. I taught in New York and became head of housekeeping at the Freedmen's Hospital and Asylum in 1870s, where I passed away on December 17, 1879. My hope for young Americans is to speak out publicly about advocating for the rights of all people.